Hello guys, welcome to Day Tech. Today we are going to be talking about Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Um, we're going to be looking into the tips and tricks or things you need to know to fully enjoy your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip experience. I was really excited when I got this device due to everything that it came with and what it could do. But after the initial excitement of the Z Flip died down, I began to wish I could do a lot more with the cover screen. Um, maybe open some apps or most importantly, open YouTube so as to be able to play or watch YouTube in the background, listen to podcasts and use the cover screen to, you know, move to the next video or do something a little bit more with the cover screen. But as we all know, Samsung did not want that to happen. So they did not provide us with this feature. The good news is someone has finally figured out how to achieve this. And I will be showing this to you in this video with a few more tips and tricks. Um, so let's start with something a little bit easier. When your Z Flip 3 is closed, tapping on the screen will show you the time, date, battery and all the standard information. But swiping from the top to the bottom will show you the brightness slider and the volume toggles, which will help you easily switch between vibration, silence and sound mode, allowing you to change profiles without opening the phone. Swiping upwards one more time will get Samsung Pay primed and ready to make a payment if you, if you have a setup on the device. This makes the process of using Samsung Pay a little bit easier instead of the need to open the phone every time you need, to, you need to make a payment. One of the good things about this device is you don't really care much for the selfie camera as you can use the rear cameras as a selfie camera when the device is closed and then use the cover screen to frame the picture or video. To do this, you will need to double tap on the power button which will then turn on the camera and when the camera is turned on, swiping to the left or to the right will change it from video mode to picture mode while swiping up or down will switch between the two cameras you have available to you. Now, when you want to take a picture or record a video, you can tap on the cover screen to record. You can use the volume up or down button to also record. You could show your palm to the camera to record. And if you wanted more options, you could say cheese or smile to get the camera to take that picture. When the phone is closed and a notification comes in, you can allow the notification icon to show on the screen, thereby waking the cover screen up so you can see that notification icon. And if this is distracting for you or you want to, uh, you want to turn it off or on, you can do this by going into settings, clicking on cover screen, and then toggling on or off the turn on screen for notification. Samsung offers you a variety of clock styles to use on your cover screen. They also provide you with a few colors that will help spice up your cover screen. The colors only affect the titles such as date, time, and battery percentage, but not a background image. You also get to customize the clock type background by changing the background image. Out of the 11 clock types, only 4 of them come with background images that cannot be changed. I tend to get bored quite easily with a background image or wallpaper, so Samsung allowing me to use up to 15 images which are then cycled every time the cover screen goes off and comes back on is pretty useful. To choose more than one background image, you will need to head to settings, go to your cover screen and click on clock styles. There at the bottom you will see background image, click on it and from there on you can choose where you want to get your images from. After that, click pick and choose whichever image you want to use, up to 15 of them and click on done. Due to the flexibility of the Z Flip 3, Samsung implemented flex mode which enables you to use your device technically hands-free as it will be propped open in the position you leave it at. When the phone is partially folded, it automatically goes into flex mode which is currently supported by a few apps such as Gallery, VLC Media Player, YouTube and Samsung's free TV services. When in flex mode, depending on the app, the top bit shows the visual content and the bottom half contains toggles for viewing, notification panel, screenshot, brightness, volume button and if it is a movie you also get the usual toggles for that video. Not all apps are compatible with flex mode and if it's in the gallery you also get a different option that allows you to, to swipe through pictures, to zoom in. It's a pretty useful tool when using your device in a propped up position. Now, not all apps are compatible with flex mode, so as usual, Samsung has provided an option to force flex mode on whichever apps you choose. To get this done, you will need to go into your settings, go to advanced features, 
Click on Labs and then click on Flex Mode Panel. Here you will see a full list of your apps and you can toggle on to force any app you want. When I found out that someone has figured out how to get more from the cover screen, I got really excited and for good reason. The name of this app is Samsung Launcher. It is a launcher but a launcher for your cover screen. You're now able to use your cover screen to watch YouTube videos, Netflix, Amazon Prime videos, use your browser and open apps without any issues. Well, you don't get a keyboard on the cover screen but I really do not mind as this is a lot more function than Samsung provided out of the box. When watching a video on Netflix, as you can see here, every function works well without any issue. The screen is pretty responsive, the browser is pretty responsive and fast, and just watching a video on this tiny screen blows my mind as I would love to have a podcast in the background on YouTube and, and you just get way more functionality. You can basically do whatever you want to do on the cover screen, so it's more of do you want to and or what do you want to do with it? I will be leaving a link to the article and also a download link to help you uh, get this installed. There is a caveat though, for this to work you will need to uninstall Samsung Health and change your lock screen type to none by going into settings, clicking on screen lock type and choosing none. Now that is done, you now need to allow Google Chrome to install unknown apps. To do this, you will need to go into your settings click on biometric and security and click on install unknown apps there you will see google chrome or whichever browser you use and toggle on allow from this source when this is done go to the download link where you will see the app which is called samsung launcher scroll to the bottom and you will see assets click on assets and download and install the samsung apk when it is finished installing jump back into settings go to your cover screen and tap on widgets scroll to the bottom and you will see samsung launcher all you need to do now is toggle it on and now you're ready to open all your apps from your cover screen so enjoy and finally if you are battery conscious and worried about damaging your battery in the long run due to constantly charging your phone to 100 percent samsung now allows you to extend your battery life by limiting your battery maximum charge to around 85 percent so no matter how much you charge your device it will never go above 85 percent which is pretty good to help you keep your battery um, lasting longer however when you take take that context and apply it to samsung galaxy z flip 3 with how small the battery is and then charging your phone only to 85 percent it is comedic to say the least because I'm already complaining about the battery not being big enough and I'm now choosing to reduce the amount of charge going in. Yeah, not for me, but for people who need this option, you can go into your settings, click on battery and device care, click on battery, then scroll down and click on more battery settings. There you will see protect the battery, which you could toggle off and on. I'm sure there are a few more tips and tricks which we've not touched on or a few more things people need to know to have a more enjoyable Z Flip 3 experience. So if you've got more of these, leave them in the comments below so we can all educate ourselves. And thanks so much for watching guys. Please hit that like button and subscribe as it goes a long way to help the channel. Do remember to stay safe and I will catch you in the next one.